It was standing room only tonight at a Round Rock ISD school board meeting as trustees considered taking action on a recommendation to place the district superintendent on leave. This stems from a memo from a monitor appointed by the Texas Education Agency recommending to place Superintendent Dr. Hafed Azazi on paid administrative leave. It's pending the outcome of an investigation into Azazi's conduct. It's conduct outlined in a protective order issued by a Travis County District Judge. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders live in Round Rock Forest uh, with new details. Jennifer? Yeah, very good evening to you, Robert. This is developing right now. They just got out of closed session. You can see that many of the parents are leaving tonight. That motion did pass six to one, and the board has named Dr. Daniel Presley as acting superintendent. Now, we heard very differing opinions tonight. We'll show you some of the video from that board meeting on the superintendent's fate. Many of the people who were here at the board meeting were calling for the board to take action that places the superintendent on leave. Now they also want a search to happen for a permanent replacement. Some are also calling for an investigation into some of the board members to figure out how this situation escalated. Some speakers who phoned in want the opposite, hoping the investigation into the superintendent would be dropped so that he could have continued his job as schools still face pandemic related issues. One thing, though, that parents did agree on here tonight was that the current issues have been thrust into the national spotlight, and they say that takes the focus off of schools as well as student outcomes. I think a new superintendent should be. I think there's a lot of opportunity to go out there and search for a good candidate and hire that person. So that would be the ultimate. We had a great district. I want us to get back to that, that we're educating students, that we find a great candidate, um, you know, to replace this current superintendent, that the board, you know, makes all the right decisions to, you know, get through this um, and we all heal. My concern is that our district is not focused on student outcomes because we have a very loud minority who are so focused on getting a superintendent out of his position that we haven't really had time to discuss what we need to do as a district. Um, and somehow, despite all that, he's actually done a few things that are good for our kids. Now, the Texas Education Agency has been investigating issues surrounding the superintendent since last September. What we do know, this is what the district just released. They released a statement saying that the acting superintendent who they just named, Dr. Presley, he did serve as acting superintendent from November 30th, 2020 to J July 4th, 2021. And he has more than 30 years of experience as an educator in schools throughout Texas. Now, of course, this is still developing. We're reaching out to all parties involved to get more on this. We'll have that on KXAN as well as KXAN.com. Robert, back to you. Jennifer Sanders live in Round Rock. We wanted to know if Azizi's personal life and conduct outside of work could be considered for termination of his employment. According to his contract, the answer to that is yes. His contract lists 21 reasons he can be fired. They include failure to meet the district standards of professional conduct, immorality, assault, or failure to report to the board any arrest, conviction, or deferred adjudication for any felony or crime. KXAN did not find any record of criminal charges filed against him at this time.